How's your day out, kids? We've Good got the little kid in the booster seat in the middle. Can <laughs> 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 you get us some more material, let me see. Here we are, girls. Back to our old school changing room. I, know, I feel right at home. Our captain used to always bring a spare set of everything. Well, every week we'd forget something. Maybe they should try that with you now. No. <laughs> yeah. I remember from Trajan's days, Lou Carter, our manager, she was just an absolute legend. Aww. Like She was a volunteer, she didn't play. Yeah. Those people would just keep teams together. I have exactly the same, so there was a lady called Pat Johnson, yeah. and she's still at our club 50 years on. Yeah. And Hopefully this World Cup will infuse the amazing volunteers we already have. Yeah. And when those youngsters kicked us off our perches, <laughs> we'll be going into those roles. We'll be swapping roles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest shock when I went back to Sutton Caulfield after Rhea was that they were all told me that they put on this massive party the night of the final and watched it all together. And I think maybe that's something that every club in England can do. Yeah, definitely. It brings everyone together, I think. Because I was at Surbiton Clubhouse watching you guys win gold and it was just so special to be a part of. <laughs> Hi, Graham. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. We're planning to host things here like we did during the Olympics and get as many people down here as we can. I think. The international success has a massive impact in club hockey. I mean, the uptake in numbers at clubs has risen dramatically um, to the point where my first club has now had to create a whole new junior section. Yeah, I think uh, Saturday mornings are amazing here. You know, we've got about nearly 200 children playing. It's just a lovely way of actually spending uh, a half day, really. If training was cancelled on a Tuesday and I found out, I was literally miserable all day. That was, that was my week ruined. A World Cup is one of the most spectacular tournaments you can go to. It'll be great for all the younger players today and you know it'll only take three or four years and there'll be some of them that will be playing in the next World Cup which is just fantastic. It's a, a massive part of, of what we want to try and achieve and we all started. <laughs> <laughs> if I could give a message back to clubs, volunteers and coaches, I'd say a massive thank you and you've really helped me on the road to becoming the player I am today. Everyone you're playing with, your coach, your manager, just add something special to that experience. I couldn't wait for the week to finish at school and then I knew at the weekend I'll be out there with my mates having fun on the field. Each club can get behind the event, get behind us as a team and maximise the opportunity of hosting a World Cup in 2018. Because the World Cup isn't just for 18 individuals, it's for every player and every coach and every volunteer that week in, week out give their lives to this sport. And I can't wait to see what happens on the back of it. Because this is not just our World Cup, this is your World Cup too.